nationaux, mais on espère les trois étapes dans ce tournoi pour l'équipe de France.
Presentation of Netherlands. Number zero, Frank de Jong. Number one, Robin Fagelwich. Number two, Mendel of Den Horse. Number three, Anil Sejil. Well, welcome international wheelchair basketball fans to the beautiful city of Antibes here in France. We're live here at the Azure Arena. Last chance of Paris at the IWBF Rapid Charge Tournament between this game in the third day of game basketball here between the Netherlands and our host country, France. Well, of course, it's been a magnificent start for both these two teams. First two days winning both of their games. And at the moment, only one team is going to remain undefeated while the other one will be picking up their first defeat. The Netherlands coming out, of course, coming fourth place at the IWBF World Championship, but winning the bronze medal at the European Power Championships, in which they hosted this previous summer in Rotterdam. The French here at home now. They're on home soil. Allez Le Bleu is going to be the chant from the home crowd. They will be an extra amount of inspiration for this French national team. Well, of course, France have had some very exciting games. Number 64, Johan Say has been their key player, along with the likes of Sofia Mehiahwe. But big performance, of course, from Andre Cayol, captain fantastic of Le Bleu, and not to mention Carlier and Doran. France will definitely fancy their chances here, but don't take anything away from the Netherlands. Led by the great Mendel of Denert, along with Matthijs Bellas, and not to mention QZ, Quintus Zazanga. Well, it's going to be a matchup between two European powerhouses, and this is a rivalry among wheelchair basketball greatness. Two fantastic countries, but now international wheelchair basketball fans, we're going to pay homage and respect to the national anthems, and we kindly ask if you're able to do so to stand for the national anthems of both France and the Netherlands. <laughs> National anthems of two beautiful countries, the Netherlands and our host country, France, have been sung. And now players of both teams will shake hands, pay each other the homage, and give each other the accolades as we are now moments away from tip-off. 
Well, again, this is day three of the IWBF Repetage, the first tournament of its kind. And both these two teams, the Netherlands and La France, both undefeated. One team will go 3-0, while the other one will be picking up their first defeat here of the IWBF Repetage. Well, of course, eight teams competing at this IWBF Rapid Charge, the first tournament of its kind, in which four teams will have a chance to qualify for the 2024 Paralympics. Well, unfortunately for the Netherlands and France, they both competed at the I, well, excuse me, at the European Power Championships, in which you had to finish in the top two, making the final to get an automatic spot for the Paralympics in Paris. And those two spots went to Great Britain, who were eventual champions, and the runners-up, Spain. Well, a lot of expectation, anticipation, motivation coming into this game. France have been on fire so far. It's a rejuvenated team. But now we'll take a look at Kais Van Hussela, the head coach of the Netherlands, one of the best international wheelchair basketball coaches in the world. Well, the key players you want to look out for was the MVP of the IWBF World Championship, Mendel Abdenert, classified as a 4.0 player, number two. And he will be partnered along with the likes of Matthijs Bellas and, of course, Robin Pogenvich and Kinson Zatanga QZ. Well, many options this team can go to from the bench. So many contributors. Dutch wheelchair basketball. Again, they feel they should already be at the Paris 2024 Paralympics. They'll like France. Slight journey here in the beautiful southern coast city of Antibes here in this wonderful country. Well, of course, the French national team coming into this tournament, being the host nation with a healthy home crowd that will inspire them on a bit further. They'll have to make sure they get a good performance, of course, from Nicolas Jancet, the classification player, 4.5. Not to mention Jérôme Duran, Christophe Callier, and who could forget, of course, Sofiane Mehiahoui, clearly a fan favorite here in this beautiful arena. Well, team coached by Franck Bonorant, and he knows he needs a good performance from his players collectively tonight if they are going to come out with the W to get them to go 3-0 here at the IWBF Rapid Charge. Well, France, they've had to really work for their victories, to say the least. And you know what? As great as a the team they are, this could be the ultimate challenge for them. The Netherlands' heavy favorites by many of the experts speaking with the likes of Dylan Cummings, D.C., saying that the Netherlands are possibly one of the very best international teams in world wheelchair hoops. Well, if we think about the amount of field goals made, I mean, Mendel Opdenert is averaging 13.5 made field goals per game. John said just under 10. So that will be the key matchup to look at in this game. Well, again, welcome to all the international wheelchair basketball fans that have joined in. And, of course, a big shout-out to Boris Krenitz, the MVP, the most valuable person who tunes in to wheelchair and able-bodied basketball, and he's a big fan, and he's a hell of a guy. And, of course, a shout-out to Jonathan Pollock, Nico the Magician versus Mendel Abdenert. Johnny Pollock, a former GB international wheelchair basketball player, so great to have ex-players currently in watching live. Well, it's going to be a game of tactics, X's and O's, and how well both sets of players set the foundations in their composure early on on both ends of the floor. But it will be Callier to tip this one off with Matthijs Bellas. Jean Sec getting the first possession. Well, he's been their top scorer so far in the first two victories. And now he's up a team defensively, possibly one of the best in wheelchair basketball. Well, Kyle getting it from the mid-range, and France breaks the ice. The first two points going to Les Bleus. Well, Les Bleus obviously meaning the Blues. And the saying you're going to hear from this crowd is, Allez Les Bleus, come on the Blues. Well, Pogenvich going inside the key, no defense around him whatsoever. And that just might be too easy for the Netherlands. Well, France need to take a little bit more pride in the defense. Make it a little bit more difficult inside the paint.
Devon Vining, Jean Sell. Crucial passing, getting into wide open positions. Well, it's going to be a foul here, and that was actually going to be a turnover for France. But this one's going to be against Robin Pogenvich. <laughs> Sideline ball to France. Both teams locked in at two apiece in the first minute. Home crowd trying to set the tone early here. This beautiful Azur Arena. It can become absolutely electrifying when this home crowd find their voice. Jean said one-handed. Are you kidding me? Well, this guy kept it in his right hand and just gave it the kiss of Paris. Pogenvich going baseline. Nowhere to go here. Fumbles it. France leading by two points. Looking to extend the lead. But one thing you have to credit with this French team, they know how to push the tempo very early. Cross-court pass, finding Callier is going to go from the baseline, and that one just rolls its way in and out. Netherlands coming up with a loose ball. Foul has been committed. So that will indeed be a baseline possession to the Netherlands. Pog and Mission bounding this one. France leader by two points, finding Matthijs Bellas. The Dutch trying to settle into an organized half court set. Finding Mendel up to Nert, reaches in off balance, can't get it. Rebound has been secured by Callier. Well, Jean says one play you just cannot invite inside the key because puts this one up and again doesn't get the right angle on it. Bella's looking for Pogenvich. Throws a long one. Mendel up there getting the bounce pass. Going out of bounds and again it just rolls its way out of the bucket. Well, Kyle scored two points already. Goes for another one. France missing the last three attempts. Hoganvich, long court pass, finds Mendel up there, and that is what I call Dutch delight transition. Well, the sublime dime coming from Hoganvich, he will get the assist, but it's the finish from Mendel up there, that makes it such a spectacular play. Joanne Sir trying to get the roll on this one, but it's just a little too short. Both teams locked into four apiece, over three minutes played here in the first quarter, and now Hoganvich. Trying to work some magic. Looking for Bellas. Catching this one with the long reach. He'll go off the bank, and that one's good. Netherlands taking a two-point lead early. Well, the big three here for the Netherlands. You've got to think about Mendel up there, of course. Matthijs Bellas and Robin Bogenvich. But you must give credit to the players around them. The likes of Frank De Boer, not to mention Jayil as well, who's wearing number three, and that's going to be a short shot. And a missed attempt there by Le Bleu. Well, shout out to Marco Spitzer, as well as Mr. Silva watching in live. Welcome, everybody. This is the IWBF Rapid Charge. We're live in the beautiful city of Antibes. As now Mendel Abdenert trying to find some separation. Pogenvich doesn't take many shots. So far, his duties have been facilitating the offense. As now they blur, get possession back. Joan Sir, give and go, gives this one up. As Remy Bailey ties the game up at six apiece. The execution is second to none when it comes to the Netherlands and France. These teams, they know how to run the sets, but more importantly, they know how to create high percentage looks. Pogenvich had the opportunity, but again decided not to go for it. Finds Bellas. Excellent defense being exhibited by both teams. Bellas with a fadeaway, and that's just a little too short. Both teams trying to find ways to break each other's defense down. Well, so far, France shooting three for eight from the field. Netherlands three for seven. 
Both teams locked in at six apiece. Almost halfway gone here in the first quarter. Jean Serre finds Bailey. She wants a foul, but this one's going to be on the ground. So it will be a baseline ball to La France. Top of the key now. Off the backboard again. Who was defending him? Well, you might need to go look in the lost and found because there were no Dutch defenders. As in the end, it became an easy bucket for Monsieur Doran. Well, nice rejection by Hemi Bailey. Hemi Bailey with the denial on Robin Pogenvich. Bailey sent a message. He said, pas chez moi, not in my house. 439 to go here in the first quarter. France leading by two points. Trying to build this one. Andre Caillot, who's was phenomenal yesterday in their victory. Putting off in the mid-range. And this guy feeling the confidence early on. Well, the Netherlands just need to regroup here because this is very uncharacteristic defense. My one of the best international wheelchair basketball teams in the world. Riding this French storm here on the beautiful south coast of Antibes. And another turnover. Now Mendel up to Nerd arguing. There was a deflection. But the officials right now add to it that that was the right decision. Sean Serre finding Carlier. One more pass. Kyle's been on fire. Slightly cooling down. Pogenvich gets a rebound. Mendel Abdena trying to get ahead. Now probably could have got that one. As here comes Pogenvich. Twisting, turning, goes up. Gets the M1. Well, again, Nightwing, we might have to call him. Well, look at the agility here by Pogenvich right around Kali. And that's what I call a fanger roll. And he has a chance to make this a three point play. As the Netherlands currently trail by one. Fails to do so, but it's still only a two point ball game. France leading by one possession. Well, nice mid range coming, nothing dropping here. Down the middle, Mendel up to Nerds. Top of the key, can he finish? Well, that is just like bread and butter for the Netherlands offense. And it only takes a bit of time for him to get cooking. Well, the France can try to prevent him from getting above 20 points. Defensively, I would say that's a masterclass against the Netherlands. Jean said, top of the key, front eye can't get it. That's gonna be a jump ball. So possession will go back to the Netherlands. Looking for options. Nowhere to go here. Finds Bellas. Almost turns it over. Keeps it alive. Doesn't quite get the lucky drop off the bank. Or the glass, depending on what your preference is. Jean Cell looking for options. Heavily defended by Frank De Boer. Frank De Jong, excuse me. Patrick De Boer is currently on the bench. Suffocated defense. Jean says, got to shoot this one. Puts it up. Again, France struggling. JL fighting for the offensive rebound, but Monsieur Calier comes up with it. In and around the defense, a foul has been called. And Mendelov Denert says, hey, ref, who, me? Well, 
course, great game coming up later after this one as you will have the Italians taking on the Germans in which you'll be very treated to a great commentator. My colleague John Hobbs will be calling that game. Well, that one rolls its way in and out. France again struggling in the last few possessions. Oh, what a dot. Mendel Optinert falling to the ground, but you have to appreciate the tempo that the Netherlands want to play at. The Mendel Optinert, there's a reason I call this man Superman. Well, he just gives every bit of effort there. And even when he knows he's not going to get it, he tries everything. France trying to break the eight seconds. Chouan said, top of the key, and there you go. That's what they need from Le Bleu. Oh, he has to get cooking here tonight. He needs to make a souffle or something, because the French delight, they're going to have to battle against the dominant Dutch. Mendelop Denert from 15 puts this one up, and a good response by Superman. Well, just like the French need to make a souffle, he needs to go into a telephone box and put on that orange cape and come and take this game over. Both teams locked in at 12 apiece. Kyle Fanicalier just off balance. Jayil gets a rebound. And here come the Netherlands. France getting numbers back, but can the Netherlands break through? Well, Pogenvich, given all the time and space, finds Mendel. Hand his face, but no problem for Superman yet again as he gives the Netherlands a two-point lead. Now, the Netherlands get a stop here. This potentially could be a two-for-one. The Italian national team watching on one side. Germany haven't quite arrived yet, but no doubt they'll be watching live on their phones. Time winding down. Jean Serre making space, can't get it. Offensive board, Duran. France going for the final possession. Gallier going back here to Remy Bailey. Has to force this one up, but it's way too strong. Well, that is indeed the end of the first quarter in which the Netherlands, they indeed have a two-point lead over France. This is the first quarter of the IWBF Rapid Charge Tournament between two of the powerhouses of European wheelchair basketball. Now, that might actually not be the end because the Netherlands, Kaisver Rusela was signaling to the referee, why was the 24 second not called? So there should be actually a bit of time left here. The Dutch should actually get the possession back, I believe. Well, the officials, no, she's going to go back to France. Two tenths of a second left. France get it back. It's got to get it bound. You've just got to hoof it up. Well, no attempt made in the end, and that is the end of the first quarter. Well, so far, we've seen an exciting first quarter of wheelchair basketball here at the IWBF Repechage. And as it stands, Netherlands with a slight advantage. Well, if we look indeed at some of the key stats so far, the leading scorer is Mendel Optiner with eight points, while Audrey Cajol, he has four. Robin Pogenvich currently leading all rebounders with four rebounds, and he also has four assists. So who knows? Pogenvich could very well tonight end up with a triple-double. Well, again, we'd like to welcome all the live viewers who have currently tuned in on the IWBF YouTube channel to watch this game of the uh, IWBF Rapid Charge. So please, in the comment bank, let us know which team you're supporting so we can give you a shout out. So indeed, we have many fans saying, go Le Bleu. And obviously, we've got Marcus Spetta saying, Holland, Holland. And of course, Johnny Pollock supporting France. Boris Krenitz, MVP. Who do you think will win this game? Will it be France or will it be the Netherlands? And of course, we must give a big shout out to the IWBF for organizing such a fantastic tournament here. The first of its kind. Remember, the four teams who've already qualified for the Paralympics, USA, Great Britain, Spain, and Australia via the Continental Para Championships. And what this tournament does, it just gives four more teams 
Well, it gives eight teams a last chance to Paris, in which four of them will be seeing the Eiffel Tower for the 2024 Paralympics at the Bursay Arena. France making a change, two changes as Ramonet coming into the game along with Mehiahui. Ramonet straight off the bench, ice cold in the veins. Well, he made his return yesterday, and you can clearly see how much Le Bleu missed him. Well, not any changes right now for the Netherlands. Frank de Jong along with Mendelop de Nerd, Pogenvish still on the floor, and again, 10 points already for Mendel. Superman off Den Ert. Well, we might need to call him Mendel off this earth at some times because he just flies through the sky every time he's playing in any IWBF international tournament. Kalane made his last one just a little too short on this attempt. Trying to go in transition, can't finish. As now Mehiahui comes over to France, trailing by two points. Mehiahui looking for options, nowhere to go here. Mehiahui trying to put this one up, final seconds. Look out quickly, but they turn it over. Matthijs Bell is right idea. Saw Bogenvich trying to get ahead. But good defense by LeBleu. Mehiahui down the middle, off balance. Still inbound at the moment, but it's going to go out. Well, Boris Krennic says he will be happy if France wins tonight. Nathan Lay says, let's go France. While Sebastian Nyman says, Robin's on fire. <laughs> Up to nerds, time's winding down. Off balance, puts this one up. And this guy can do almost about anything and everything on the floor offensively. Four-point lead to the Netherlands. Le Bleu, they need to find a way back in this. Trailing by two possessions. France getting a board reversal. Kayol down the middle. Puts this one up. Can he respond? That's a beautiful response by France. You got to think the mental factors coming into this game. Both teams trying to gain any form of a psychological advantage over each other. That's just how great they are, and it's all down to execution. Mendel finds Pogenvich. Bellas under pressure, has to take it. Just a little too strong off the backboard. Well, here comes Gamone off balance. Well, that's a Ramonet going to the ground, so it's going to be another turnover here for France. Just lost balance of his will right there. Well, Quinton Zatanga checking into the game. QZ had a phenomenal game in his opener. It's the Dutch third leading scorer at the IW, well, excuse me, at the European Power Championships. So Tanger under the basket, missing the layup, almost getting his own rebound. It goes out of bounds and it will remain possession back to France. Well, the timeout's going to be called by Libler as they want to talk it over. Only trailer by two points, but they will get possession back. Currently, France being led in all scoring by Audrey Caillot, captain fantastic. Well, Mendel Abdenard currently has 12 points. Only three Dutch players on the stat sheet. 
Well, welcome everybody. And again, if you are watching this live YouTube stream, please, as always, hit that like button and subscribe to the IWBF. Every like, every subscription just helps promote the future development of wheelchair basketball. And also, make sure you follow the IWBF on X, Facebook, and Instagram. Well, I almost said Twitter there, but I don't think Elon Musk would be too happy with me. Remember, great game going on afterwards. Germany will be taking on Italy. That'll be the final game of game day three here at the IWBF Repetage. But one thing we like to know is we like to know the thoughts and opinions of all the passionate wheelchair basketball fans. So again, it seems to be very mixed. Many people thinking the Netherlands are going to win, while the other half thinking France is going to win. So let us know in the live YouTube chat which country you think will come out victorious. Mehiahui getting inside the paint, finds Ramane. Bailey under pressure, getting the drop, and we're all locked in again at 18. Well, he was smothered by a sea of orange defenders, but somehow still found a way to get to the bottom of the net. Pockenfish trying to make things happen, heavily defended by Alexis Ramane. Seven here on the shot clock. Finds a tango, puts this one up, and again hitting the back iron. And now France, a chance to retake the lead. Well, Mehiahui left wide open. Why not? Takes a three. It's up. It's on target, but just cannot connect. And here come the Netherlands, led by Mendel Obdenert. Pogenvich trying to go all the way. Well, probably should have taken himself. Stops it from going out of bounds. Mendel, 18, this is a long one, puts it up. Just didn't quite get enough power under it. Almost halfway gone here in the second quarter. France and the Netherlands all tied up at 18. Well, Kyle getting around the defense, almost giving France the lead. That's good execution, though, for both these two teams. And the defense might be just a little bit better. Mehiahui trying to get close to Mendel. Almost turning it over. Optena puts up a Hail Mary, goes out well, to the right, no good. Well, a bit of a barren spell at the moment between these two teams. Well, nice play as Ramone has come ready to play. Well, he's becoming that ultimate option off the bench for France in the last two games. And now a timeout's going to be called as the Netherlands trail by two points. Kai Svam Usala just trying to steady the ship right now here for the men in orange. This passion home crowd in the beautiful Azur Arena, the home arena of able body basketball team who play in the French LMB Pro B on Team Sharks. And a big shout out to the IWPF for organizing this magnificent repechage tournament in which it's a last chance for Paris. Well, of course, this is game day three. We'll have one more day of games, which will be tomorrow, in which we will find out who will be the four teams that will be joining the USA, Great Britain, Spain, and Australia at the 2024 Paralympics. Well, big shout out to Nathan Lays, says, let's go. Jin Hu says, win for the Netherlands. And of course, Johnny Pollock making some very good points here about what his zone defense could give to the Netherlands. 
So very interesting debates, and I love everything at the moment. Every opinion matters, so let us know your thoughts. Currently, two-point lead to the, the French. So Tanga finding Pogginbish. Well, it's going to be another turnover and a very uncharacteristic mistake here from QZ. Well, it's all about riding the storm. The Netherlands, probably on paper, many would say that they have more dominant players, but they are technically on the road as France are the home team. And any time you play in front of a passionate crowd, it just offers a bit of extra I inspiration, I guess. Nice give and go, finding Remy Bailey. Bailey inside the key, can't get it. Gets his own rebound. Gamonet's been on fire. Front iron. It's Mehiawi comes up, and it's going to be a turnover. No. Well, just a slight delay in game. The officials now said it's going to remain possession to fronts. Gamonet trying to go down the middle inside the key. Well, that's a good look, but he's got to try and finish that as Mehiahui gets called for the foul. 3.35 to go here in the first half. Well, QZ trying to get inside the paints. Does just that and tie the game up, but he misses. Well, the help side defense coming from the French. Just doing everything he can to make it difficult here for the Dutch. Kayol being defended by Frank de Jong. Mehiawi going for a cross court. Ramane thinking about taking this one for 10. Puts it up, and now it's a two possession lead to the French and Mehiawi on the ground. Netherlands needs some form of anything to try to get them back on track. So Tanya trying to use a screen from Patrick De Boer. Bit of contact. The foul is going to be called against Alexis Ramonet. So baseline possession coming up here for the Netherlands. Coming up in the mid-range, everything going out of the moments. But Pogginvish getting an offensive rebound. Trying to work some magic. He's done a lot of facilitating. Maybe he's got to think about shooting now. Puts up a tough one. Good defense by Kayol. France now looking to go up by six. They've led by as many as four. Kyle top, nothing but net. That is simply string music. Six point lead at the moment. QZ going baseline, looking for options. Down to Patrick DeBoer, and finally the Netherlands getting a break. And it's down to the big man, Patrick De DeBoer. Well, anything they can do right now to try and build some identity here in their offense. France, of course, playing better here in the second quarter. Ramonet finding Callier. Foul is going to be called on the ground. So the AM1 will not count here for Le Bleu. One thirty-one, exactly 91 seconds left in the second quarter.
Dominic Paul fakes. Finds a bit of space to penetrate. He draws a foul. That's a solid move by Alexis Ramonet. Well, every possession, of course, is becoming imperative for both France and the Netherlands because it's all about gaining a mental advantage over the other opponents. Ramonet going over two from the free throw line, but gets his own rebound. And he's left wide open. Can he get it back? Yes, he can. Well, he doesn't need free throws. He needs a hand in space. He only makes shots when he's under pressure. Tough play by Alexis Ramonet. Six point lead to false. Time winded down. So Tang has got to think about shooting. Finds Poggenvich. Poggenvich, no look. Well, it almost went in. That might have been the play of any form of basketball, wheelchair or able body basketball. And even as a neutral, you're hoping he makes it. I'd tell you what, if Robin Poggenvich made that, I want his autograph and I want a selfie with him afterwards. That's how incredible that would have been. The confidence. But now the Netherlands need to play some defense. France want to keep building their lead. Ramonet's been on fire. This one's on target. Ramonet's going to let that one go out of bounds. It did take a deflection off Quinton Zatanga. Well, Mehiahui thought about taking the three-pointer. Changes pace on the acceleration. Kyle under pressure. Mahiahui just a little too strong off the backboard. An offensive foul is going to be called against France. I think there was a bit of contact from behind towards Mendel Opten Ertz. Right there, yeah. Oh, it's over the back, of course. QZ trying to push the tempo. Final seconds here. Satanga's got to make this one. Can't get it. DeBoer right at the end. Now it's not going to count. A foul is going to be called. A push from behind is going to be called against Quinton Satanga. Now, if that's the case, there should be maybe a little bit of time left, actually. Let's have a look. There was a shot by Zatanga. Now watch. DeBoer grabs it away off the deflection. That's a right call, yeah. I would reckon there's probably between five tenths to a second left. Well, we still don't have any time left on the clock, so the officials need to decide what is left. So the officials at the moment, yeah, one has figured out that there's actually no time left on the clock, so we need to figure out what was left. And Robin Pogginvich, I'm not quite sure what he's explaining to the official. <laughs> so we're still trying to figure out, this is going to be, well, there's actually going to be five tenths of a second left. So Kayo has got to lob this one like an American football. Oh, it's a turnover. Kayo trying to get a bit of an advantage on the sideline. So literally now here for the Netherlands, it's slightly easier because they're in their own half. Throw it in and almost tip it if you like. 
Finds Pogginvich. Doesn't get it off in time, I don't think. But at the end of the first half, indeed it is La France. Le Bleu, who lead this one 26-20 against the Netherlands. Well, so far it's been a second quarter where the home team have taken real dominance over this game. But take nothing away in the second half. You can expect the Dutch storm will be coming. Well, to all the fans watching live on the YouTube stream, thank you for joining us. We have another exciting half coming up. This is the IWBF Rapid Charge game between La France and the Netherlands. We will be back in just under 15 minutes. Thank you. 
à la télé. Sur... Merci en tout cas. Merci à tous les participants. Merci à toutes et à tous. Bravo, Bravo
Welcome back, International Wheelchair Basel fans. This is the 2024 IWBF Rapid Charge Tournament, the very first of its kind, in which eight teams will have a chance to qualify for the 2024 Paris Paralympics. At the moment, it is indeed a European derby between France and the Netherlands, where the host team currently have a six-point lead. While all score is being led by Mendel Abdener, the MVP of the IWBF World Championship. Only four players from the Dutch currently on the score sheet. Well, France have one more player lead scoring coming from Otto Cayol and Alexis Ramonet. Well, again, we'd like to welcome all the MVP wheelchair basketball fans who have joined in for the live YouTube chat. A shout out to Valerie Cola, Gabe Caliguiri, and of course, Marcos Gonzalez, Sinclair Thomas, and Johnny Pollock as well. Nathan Lays, welcome everybody. And again, if you can, hit that like button and subscribe to the IWBF on YouTube to help further progress the progression and development of international wheelchair basketball. Well, again, some great comments have been made already, especially in the case of the Netherlands, because this has been a talking point. If Mendel Optinert becomes the focal point of every offense, in which Johnny Pollock has identified, they need other players to get into the mix. But here comes Optinert and gets it to go. Well, this is going to be a good test for both these two teams. Well, Mehiahui left with time and space, takes a three, count it! Big time three-pointer. Monsieur Sofia Mehiahui from downtown. Well, he took that one from Limoges. It flew over, of course, the beautiful city of Dijon, but it came back down right here in the wonderful south coast city of Antibes. Well, Frank de Jong unable to catch the pass, went right behind him. And now here come France. Leading by seven points, biggest lead of the game so far for Le Bleu. For Mehiahui. This time they're not going to let him take another wide open three as Ramon A goes up. Front eye, no luck there for France. Oh, nice play, of course. Finish not quite there as Pogovic comes up, and maybe he needs to be a little bit more selfish because he is the ultimate game changer when he becomes a facilitator for the Netherlands. But we have seen this at the IWBF World Championship and, of course, at the European Power Championships. He possibly needs to be given a little bit more of the point scoring. Met Yahoo, made his last three, goes for another one. Slightly off balance. Well, Pogenvich finds Mandel up dead out, and again, four points to Superman already here in the second half. Well, a big shout out to the man, the myth, the legend, Dylan Cummings, who currently is here live at the Azure Arena. And a big win for Columbia earlier today. So great things happening today here at the IWBF Repetage Tournament. How many misses last? Again, the exact same result. But now the Netherlands looking to push this one. Two 
two players having to defend Mendelov down out of Remy Bailey and Sofia Mehiahui. Time winding down for Bogenvish. Nice give and go play here for rejection time. Monsieur Mehiahui with the denial. And here come Le Bleu. Kayo going baseline, puts this one up. France getting good looks, but not converting them at the moment. But eventually they will drop because they're not very well contested. Netherlands, another chance to get back into this. Arguably one of the greatest national teams here in wheelchair basketball. And they have been tested so far. Mendel closed out by Carlier. He's going to have to shoot this. Hand his face under pressure. And that's good defense by Carlier. Mehiahui finding Ramone. France looking for something. Just doesn't get the right drop on it. Four attempts of France, all good looks. But here comes Mendel up down earth. Netherlands have numbers. Now we're under 10 here on the shot clock. Bella's looking for Mendel up down earth. Ramone from behind just can't get it. Well, the defense has been exemplified to perfection so far here early in the second half. But can Callier give them what they need? He does just that, a five-point lead to France. Well, finding inside the paint. Well, unsportsmanlike foul is going to be called. So the Netherlands, they're going to get two free throws and they'll get possession back. Let's take a look at the replay. Well, Mehiahui, I think, is going to get called for it. Yeah. No, it's going to be on Kayol. I wonder if it's they felt there was contact coming from behind. Bella's just off to the right. Well, Matthias Bella is only two points tonight, but you've got to credit that down to the French defense. Missed them both. The Netherlands will get the ball back on the sideline. <laughs> Solid pass to coming here from the Dutch. Inside the paint again, one outcome coming from Mendel up to Nuts. Both teams exchanging field goals already. 18 points for Mendel. Mekiahui thought about taking the three-pointer. Finds Callier. Good execution by France, extending the lead back to five points. Halfway already played so far, and a foul's going to be called. It's on the ground. Second team foul against the French. Netherlands trying to get inside to pay. Good defense. Another foul's called. Oh, France are picking up fouls quicker than I would usually pick up parking tickets at the moment. 4.51 to go here already in the third quarter. Five seconds left here for Pogenvish. Finds Frank De Jong. He's got to put this one up. De Jong, too strong off the backboard, but gets his own rebound. J.O. comes up with it. Netherlands get another chance. Heavy defense coming, looking for Mendel. Bellas, he's got to go up with it. 
Pogadovic, three downtown, nothing dropping. Franz looking to extend back to a seven point lead. Home crowd getting into this one. Nice give and go with Kayol. Well, Mehiak, we try to find Kali inside the paints. Nice dish off. That's going to be a 24 second violation. Suffocated defense coming for the Dutch. Netherlands getting another chance, but offensively, they have been struggling so far here collectively as a team in the second half. Bogenvish out to Mendel. Bellas has got to put this one up. Well, delaying game, so there's going to be 3.4 left on the shot clock. Netherlands will get it on the baseline. Well, Bellas gets the drop finally. It may be that's the confidence he needs. They need him to step in and step up. Currently four points for Matthias Bellas. Franz still lead by three. Now Monet penetrates, goes in, bit of contact. No foul colds. Netherlands trailing by three. Have numbers in transition. Pogadovich penetrating, finds Mendel up down uh, two players around him, good defense. Collier making that shot impossible. Well, here comes Kayol, relatively quiet so far here in the second half. France trying to establish some identity here in their offense. Getting a board reversal, two seconds left. Kayol doesn't get it. Well, it's back and forth for both teams offensively. Haven't been able to assert themselves really here in the second half. Well, Mendel getting a bump. Finds Bellas. Bellas draws a foul. So two free throws may not be the worst foul because Bellas missed his last two, but he's going to have to try and hold his composure here with 208 in the third quarter. Well, change coming in, a defensive change here for France's Glassy. And now we're going to have a timeout as these two teams want to talk it over. Well, timeout has been called by France. They've led by as many as seven points. But really, offensively, as we've seen, both teams struggling to really get in any motion or any fluidity in their offense. Well, here are some of the key replays. Carlier much needed two points. Just put it back to a five-point deficit. And again, Johnny Pollock made a very good point with the Netherlands. All the scoring predominantly does come through Mendelov de He's got 18 at the moment. Pogadvish with six, Bellows with four, and Frank Patrick DeBoer with two. So when you have a good player who's, you know, majority volume scorer, it becomes an easy defensive game plan for France. So they need to find their players to get into the mix-up somehow. Well, fans currently watching live on the YouTube stream, please let us know where you're watching so we can give you a shout-out. And also, please like this live live stream and also subscribe to the IWBF to help further progress the development of this magnificent game of wheelchair basketball at the highest level. Two free throws coming up for Matthias Bellas. 2.08 left here.
Well, Bellas had it on target, but just hit the back iron. Both pocket Vish and Opten Ert just saying to him, hey, don't worry, we got this. Take your time. But Sean says, saying, I'm in, the, I'm in the rear area. I don't need to move. Bell is a little bit too short. France come up with it, leading by three, just over two minutes. Third quarter getting underway here. Jean Serre crashes the cross court. Finds Bailey, puts this one up, extending Francis' lead indeed. Well, actually, my apologies, that was Duran. Sending it back to a five point ball game. Well, nice job by Pogovich. Well, has the time and space. Good defense. Bailey comes up with it. Netherlands just choking under a little bit of pressure. But every great team goes through a challenge. Sean said mid-range, can't connect, goes out of bounds. That's going to remain possession. Tule Bleu with 115. Double change coming in for the Netherlands as both Quinton Zatanga and Patrick DeBoer will be coming in. Matthijs Bellas and Jay Hill, they'll take a breather. Well, Ramene thought about taking this one. Gets a switch on defense. Now he's got it by Patrick DeBoer. And here comes Jean Serre, unable to get it. Duran with the offensive rebound. Well, I don't think there should have been a reset of the shot clock because the ball didn't touch the rim. Well, the officials now just trying to decide what was left on the shot clock, and I think it's going to be 2.1. French Bull on the baseline. Well, shout out to our new viewer, Audio Henry, currently watching from Kenya. So, welcome, my friend. Join the party. It's currently the IWBF Repercharge as both the Netherlands and France, two teams favorite to be qualifying for the 2024 Paris Paralympics. Remember, a magnificent, exciting game will be taking place later as both Italy and Germany will take the court. Commentary will be led by the great John Hobbs, a voice of international wheelchair basketball. Ramane tries to go off the bank. Can't get it. The jump ball is going to be cool, so France will get it back. Fresh 14 for Le Bleu. They have a five point lead. 55 seconds left here in the third quarter. France being led collectively by both Alexis Ramonet and Andre Cayol. Duran left with time and space, uncontested, puts it up, and again, France just being invited to get anything and everything they want. Seven-point lead to the Netherlands. Well, here comes Mendel up down Erd, finds Pogenvich, goes up, and it's too strong. Well, what's undeniable, the Netherlands are getting good looks. They're just not dropping at the moment. And this is all about dealing with the pressure. Well, good defense. Well, Bailey gets blocked by the backboard. No foul calls. And that is going to be the end of the third quarter in which France currently lead by seven points in game day three of the IWBF Repercharge. Well, again, welcome to Marco Schmetter, currently watching from Leiden in the Netherlands, and Marsha Horton, currently watching in Canada. Welcome to all of our international wheelchair basketball fans. It is currently the end of the third quarter play. One final quarter to go at 10 minutes. Who's going to remain undefeated? Will it be France or will it be the Netherlands?
Well, Mandelop Denut currently leading all scores of 18 points. Pogenvich currently 12 rebounds and nine assists. Well, Pogenvich, he's now four points and one assist away from a triple-double. Both Audrey Cayola and Alexis Ramonet currently leading all scores for the French with eight apiece. Well, Carlier had some good moments in this game so far. And currently, he has two field goals and also two fouls. Not much foul trouble for either team to be concerned with at the moment. Well, the Netherlands, obviously coached by the great Kais van Roosela, and assisted by the great Hodge Bania, who's considered, well, both of them are actually considered two of the very best coaches in international wheelchair basketball. But right now, they need some inspiration from their players. Glassy coming into the lineup here, like he did yesterday in their victory. Playing some invaluable minutes as a great defender, probably one of the best defenders for France. Well, now we're going to get the fourth and final quarter underway. Netherlands trailing by 10. Can they find a way back in? It's a tanger on the baseline. Looking for options. There's the mid-range. Puts it up. And Mandelop Tenner goes to 20. But if that is going to be the only scoring so far here for the Netherlands, France will probably live with this. Breaking down the full court pressure. Five seconds left. Ramane has got to think about taking something. Finds the run. Can't get it. Rebound's been secured, and a foul's going to be called against Remy Bailey. What's well, the kind of game you wanted to see, just like when the Iranians defeated Canada on the buzzer, when one Sayadi had the game to seal the deal, giving Iran their first victory here of the IWBF Rapid Charge. So tag it from 18, a little too short, can't connect. Well, here comes Jean Serret. Jean Serret finds Bailey near the bucket. He's got to finish this one from point blank range. Back to a seven point deficit. So Tanga finding Mendel up to This one's going to be a little too short. Netherlands not getting many offensive rebounds. France doing their work right now. Schwanzer. Well, oh, could have been an interception there, possibly by Pogenvich. But time is winding down. Ramone gets rejected. Well, De Boer with the block. Well, the foul is going to be called against Doran. Well, here come the Netherlands. Pogenvich. Can he make this one? Puts it up. It's on target. But it rolls its way in and out. Well, they're getting good looks. There's no arguments. And an offensive foul is going to be called against Nicolas Jean-Serre. Now, it's not going to be a team... Well, it's a team control foul, so no team foul. Jean-Serre feeling like he was knocked to the ground, but Pogenvich...
course, the anticipation of this game. The excitement of this crowd coming in here, making a wonderful atmosphere of fans from both France and the Netherlands cheering on their countries. Satanga finds Bogenvish. Time, space, back to QZ. He's got to make this one, but nothing dropping. But again, it's a good look. It's good execution. France have a chance to break. Jean said now it's going to be a slight delay in game as Garassi is just on the ground. So there's going to be five seconds on the shot clock here for France. They have the momentum. They're in control of this game so far. Well, it's going to have to be a quick decision from Le Bleu. Jean said out of, out of bounds, off balance. Not quite sure there's any contact there, but... Netherlands looking for something, anything to kick out their offense here in the fourth quarter. Mendel, a bit of contact, and that's going to be the fourth and final team foul for the French. Any more fouls, and they will be sending the Netherlands to the charity stripe. But again, can they take advantage of this? Well, they've set two shots. So they're trying to say that Mendel up. Let's have a look. So we'll be free throws coming up for Superman. Make these two free throws, you cut it down to a five-point ball game. <laughs> Makes them both. Huge points here for the Netherlands, but it's still a five-point ball game. Well, Bogenvich could come up with it. France keep it alive. Game is getting very physical. Slight delay in game, so France will get it back on the sideline. Oh, well, good hands. It's going to be a turnover. Netherlands will get it back. 6.31 to go. Right now, France just need to hold their composure. Sometimes holding the lead can be a little bit overwhelming. But now is not the time to show the anxiety. Pogenvich. Netherlands do have numbers. Robin finds Mendel. Mendel goes up, draws another foul. So he will go back to the free throw line. The one thing France don't want to do at the moment is allow the Dutch back in via the charity stripe. It's almost like a formal invitation. Hey, let's take this game to overtime, or let's take it to the final seconds. Mendel makes the first free throw, can cut it down to a three-point ball game if he makes this. Doesn't get it, but it's only a two-possession game at the moment. Can France still lead ahead? Well, oh, Ramane finds Remy Bailey, and that's a B-E-A, beautiful response. Well, solid play by Le Bleu, getting a wide-open layup. Bailey coming good. Eight points now for Remy Bailey, number four for France. Well, Mendel from the mid range, too strong off the backboard. Nothing dropping right now here for the Netherlands. It's all coming from the charity stripe. Double team. 
And now Frost can break it down. Ramonet trying to attack, nowhere to go. Ramonet down the middle, goes up, a little floater, and he gets it to drop. Now it's an eight-point ball game. And Kais Van Hussela is going to call timeout here as he wants to talk it over with his players. Well, it's going to be a crucial timeout now for Kais Van Hussela as he's about to speak with his players. The Dutch coaching staff, not too much concern. 5.22 left in the game. There's plenty of time left back in. But now is the time to regroup. The problem for the Netherlands is not being able to find any identity in their offense. Well, as we mentioned, Kais Van Hussela, one of the greatest wheelchair basketball coaches in the world, and his assistant, Hodge Bonnier, won the IWBF World Championship of Great Britain in 2018, also considered one of the greatest wheelchair basketball coaches in the world. Of course, such great experience, and these players for the Netherlands will be hoping to regroup themselves. Well, it's interesting in these timeouts because guys, you'll see at some timeouts, he'll take it. While well, Hodge Barnier, he'll try to give some influence, and that's a great partnership between, as I mentioned, two of the very best wheelchair basketball coaches in the world. Well, play will resume. Netherlands will get possession. Possession by possession, needs to be here. Key, three goes up, no good. Nothing dropping. France looking to go up by double digits. The biggest lead has been eight. Jean Serre trying to find Ramonet. Nice passing, Duran inside the key. Finally, for the first time tonight, it is indeed a 10-point lead to Le Bleu. Well, it's just been a spectacular showcase for all these two teams. And they are in control. Well, everything falling apart right now. Think about it, though. Four and a half is still a lot of time left. It's just going to mean big moments. Deep shot coming. Ramane doesn't get the drop on it. Inside the paint, gets it. Now it's a 12-point lead. And all of a sudden, the fans here for France cheering on. The job's not done yet, though. But credit how France have been in the second half. It's just been a tough second half here for the Netherlands. So Tanger from deep gets up. The three is good. Could that be the possession? Well, bit of a coming together there between Quinton Satanga and Remy Bailey. Patience needs to be the key for the French. No need to rush anything. Getting good looks. Wearing down the clock. Ramonet finds Joan Serre. Goes baseline. Ramonet gets closed out by Bogdanovich. Time winded down. Puts up a tough one. Patrick DeBoer gets a rebound. Oh, nice pass. Finds Bogdanovich. Goes in. Oh, he gets it. Now it's a seven-point ball game. 5-0 run for the Netherlands. And it's almost three minutes left. Can France hold on? Can the Netherlands come back? Well, the foul is going to be called by Quinton Zetang. It's only the first team foul against the Dutch here in the fourth quarter. Well, Gamane draws a foul, and he will go to the free throw line. That's an intelligent play by Alexis Gamane. Currently 10 points tonight, two players from France in double digits, both Gamane and Remy Bailey. Oh, 
Oh, coming in the free throw line. Misses the free throw. Well, here's a time when you just need to make these three shots. Give yourself an eight point lead. Missed them both. Netherlands under three minutes. They've got to make things happen. A lot to earn now. Getting inside the key. Finds Zatanga. Zatanga from downtown. It's up. It's just too short, but nobody going in for an offensive rebound. Well, that three pointer would have cut it down to a two possession ball game. That's now France with 13 on the shot clock. Just need to wind down as much time as possible. Monteron, he's going to go for a three. He'll take this one. Is Patrick DeBoer happy to let that one roll out of bounds? 2.21 left. Potentially three, maybe four possession game here at hand. And that could be the amount of offenses that the Dutch could have left here. But they're going to have to score on every possession, most likely. Pogenvich. So Tango. Tries another three. It's up. Oh my goodness. QZ for three. Now it's a four point ball game. Netherlands not going anywhere anytime soon. But Old France needs a bucket to extend it back to a six point lead. Now when he goes in, no foul calls. And that's going to be Netherlands ball. Well, interesting decision. Home crowd would have to see a replay of it. They felt like there was a block. They also felt there was a foul. But no protest from Alexis Ramane. One, let's have a look at the replay here. Well, you could argue a foul, but definitely it's taken the last touch off Ramane. But even so. Well, they don't want to let QZ take another one. QZ in around the defense. Finds Pogenvich, goes up and, oh, he missed it. Well, that was a golden chance for the Dutch. Foul's going to be called. Third team foul against the Netherlands. Still a four-point ball game. Ninety six seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Ramone dribbling into traffic. Nowhere to go here. Got it by Diama. Now switched up by Pogenvich. Ramone going baseline. Bit of time, space. Can't get it. So Tanga finds Pogenvich. Just over a minute. Looking for Lopteno. Now, smart play. It's taken a last touch of Remy Bailey. So the Dutch will have another chance. Change coming in for the French. Sofia Mehiahui and Carlier, but I think a timeout's going to be called as Le Bleu want to talk it over. This is officially Operation Hang On for the French. Well, you got to be thinking in this timeout, what can you say? I mean, literally, you've got to go through all the training together, all the experience. Now is the time. It's not about X's and O's. It's about growing as a team. They went through this summer, the IWBF World Championship, the European Power Championship, all the lessons, all the heartbreak. France has to close this game out, but the Netherlands refuse to give up. Well, here was the pass. I found that was a layup coming from Pogenvich. Well, wheelchair basketball fans currently watching live on the YouTube stream. Let us know who's going to take the victory. Who's going to remain undefeated? Will it be the Netherlands or will it be France? Well, again, we do thank you for all of us joining. But remember, please, if you can, to help further develop the progression of international wheelchair basketball, give a like to this live stream and also subscribe to the IWBF on YouTube. Everything helps further progress this magnificent sport.
Well, it's going to be a baseline possession to the Dutch. Trailing by four points. Any bucket now will make it a one possession ball game. So Tanga now trying to penetrate. Bumping. Now run to 10. Mendel almost turns it over. Now it's going to take a last touch off front. So the Netherlands will get it back with five left on the shot clock. Well, they got to be quick here. So tanga has got to make a decision. Puts up a hell. Mary almost got it. France come up with it. They survive. A bucket now would probably win the game for the French. Patience needs to be the key now. No need to rush. Mehyahui making the right choice. Finds Duran. Kalier. Mehyahui. Oh, beautiful passing. It's up. And an unsportsmanlike foul is going to be called. So France may have just sealed the deal. Leblanc will get two free throws and they'll get the ball back. I think that's the right call. It's on Frank de Jong holding on to the, the tricep of Remy Bailey. And a timeout's going to be called. Well, what a game this has turned out to be. Of course, Netherlands, many would have said coming into this matchup, were the favorites. But France's defensive game plan, they came here, they played hard. Kais van Rooselaar along with Hodge Bania, what two of the very greatest minds in wheelchair basketball. They may lose this game, but it's about learning from the experience. Tomorrow will be the final day in which we will find out four teams will book their tickets to the 2024 Paralympics. Well, two free throws coming up for Remy Bailey. All he's got to do, well, he missed the first one. Well, even if he misses both, they'll get it back up by four points, which means technically they'll only be 3.5 between game and shot clock. Makes the second one. Well, actually, the shot clock has gone down to 14, so there's 13 seconds difference. But if Netherlands don't get a steal, they got to think about making a foul. Well, timeout's going to be called by France. They'll get this one back when they come back as they lead by five points. Well, the home crowd loving the occasion here this evening. Well, it's been a great occasion so far. We're live here at the 2024 IWBF Rapid Charge Last Chance of Paris. And who knows, these two teams could be seeing the Eiffel Tower at the 2024 Paralympics. Well, one occasion has been for wheelchair basketball. They've done an absolutely magnificent job of hosting an absolutely incredible tournament here in the beautiful city of Antibes, France. Remember, there's one great game to come after this. Germany, they will be taking on Italy, another European powerhouse matchup. Duran's going to inbound this one, getting a handoff. 
Franz don't need to do anything. They can even let the shot clock run out. Kayol, the interception out. Netherlands are going to have to go quick here. It's a three on one. Probably want to go for a three pointer. Mendel puts it up. No good. Pogovich getting the rebound. Up to Nerd. Just can't get the close one. What a game it's been. Well, Jay Dumont, Allez les Bleus. Bonne nuit, France. They're going to take the victory. They'll remain undefeated as we head into the final day of the IWBF Repetage. Remember, last chance of Paris. Four teams will be booking their tickets to the 2024 Paralympics. And as it stands, France, they remain undefeated here in Antibes. Well, a magnificent occasion. It was back and forth, but France prevailed in the end. Their defensive strategies making life difficult here for the Netherlands. They did the job, but they've got one more day to go. All well, the Netherlands, great team as we know, one of the very best in international wheelchair basketball. Every great team has a challenge, but it's about growing and learning. It's not over for them yet. They'll have another chance, and that chance will be tomorrow. But look what it means to these French players in front of their home fans. Big time performance. Well, again, a big shout out to everybody who joined us on the live YouTube chat. Shout out to the MVP, Boris Kreditz. Shout out to Silver Mass, Sinclair Thomas. And of course, to Gabe Kelly Yuri. We thank you, everybody, who did join us on this live YouTube stream. Well, the beauty of this IWBF Repetage tournament is that it's not over yet. There's still another day to go. The French fans still enjoying this. They remain undefeated. They go 3-0 as the Netherlands will finish in second here on the group stage. Iran in third place after their buzzer-beating victory against Canadians. But still, there's a chance. Still, there's an opportunity to qualify for the 2024 Paralympics. And look what it means to these French players and these French fans coming to support their national team. A phenomenal occasion. Just an unbelievable atmosphere here at the Antib Arena. <laughs> Well, here are some of the key highlights from the game. Of course, just a spectacular case on both ends of the floor. And even though Mendel Opton still had 23 points, an individual accolade for a fantastic player, the MVP of the IWBF World Championship in Dubai. Well, credit to this man, Nicolas Joancer. Unbelievable performance in the end. Finish with four points, but he came a key leader, a facilitator here this evening. Well, Alexis Ramonet finished with 10 points, leading scorer for France. It was Remy Bailey with 11. And of course, Audrey Caillot, Captain Fantastic, along with Monsieur Doran. They both combined together with 16, eight apiece. And the old saying is, wheelchair hoops, it's a team game. Every player is so important to this unit. Well, there was a fantastic shooting by Ramonet. A nice give and go, Patrick DeVore getting inside the paints. And as I said, the crossover will be tomorrow. The winners of all the finals will dictate who does qualify for the 2024 Paralympics. Well, you got to give credit to the French. I mean, seven players getting on the stat sheet. Every player playing a crucial role when they came on the floor for Les Bleus. And of course, then you can see the big shot by Remy Bailey, the leading scorer for the French tonight, as we mentioned, with 11 points. Well, Superman had his 23, but it's not over. Big, big games coming tomorrow for all these teams. Sofia Mechiahui, what a Superman he was for the French tonight. And there you can see a great performance by Doran. Well, a great pass, cross court. We've seen that. That's exemplifying the transition of the Dutch. But it's all over. France remain undefeated here at the IWBF Repetage. Well, that was a three-pointer by QZ. 
that gave the Netherlands a chance. And in the end, the unsportsmanlike foul did seal the deal for Le Bleu. Well, international wheelchair basketball fans, the day is not over. One big game to come still, and it's going to be a European giant battle between Germany and Italy here at the IWBF Rapid Charge. That game will be taking place later on the IWF YouTube. So join us very soon for the fourth and final game of today. Faisons briller 